Hi YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl. And today's video is dedicated to all the newbies out there. Everyone that's considering eBay and Amazon as a business, as a stay at home option, this new video series is just for you. I have a lot of questions coming in about you know, how to find inventory, how to get started. It's overwhelming, people are kind of all over the place. And that's exactly right. I think YouTube is so beneficial. We can learn from each other, it's free. We can watch a gazillion videos about just about anything we wanna know about. It's amazing, but it can be extremely overwhelming. So this series is just gonna take it a little piece of information that you can chew at a time with each video. So today's video is gonna be dedicated to having uh, an understanding about the low risk involved with starting an eBay or Amazon business. And then we're gonna talk about setting up your office space. And then we're gonna talk about having the equipment that you need. So we're only gonna cover three things very doable, very easy, not overwhelming. So take a deep breath and let's just chat for a minute. So right now we are in my eBay, Amazon office. And my story for you is I started eBaying about five years ago and I started very small. It was a summer activity just to kind of supplement, just to kind of give me some extra money for kids camps and vacations and that over the summer. So I started selling homeschool curriculum and things that I had around the house. Cleaning the closets, cleaning the garage out. I got rid of some old homeschool curriculum that I didn't need anymore. I thought I would make a few hundred dollars. I would apply that to vacation and camps and everybody was happy. Lo and behold, I made thousands of dollars that summer. And I was flabbergasted. I couldn't believe that I made that much selling old junk on eBay. <laughs> So I said, hey, I'm gonna try it the next summer. So the next summer I tried a little harder and I actually went out and bought things to sell from garage sales and um, used curriculum fairs. And my husband couldn't believe it because I just cleared out everything and here I was buying stuff to try to resell. But I just wanted to test the waters and see if I could duplicate it again and actually make thousands of dollars again in that summer, which I was. I was successful and it worked. So then I started thinking, okay, how can I expand this to year round? And I started garage selling. Now what I want you to take from all of this is first of all, eBay and Amazoning and starting your own business is a process. It's a very viable business, but it's a process. Most likely you are not going to wake up tomorrow and be making 60 grand. What you need to do is start small, build up, build up, build up, until you have a viable business that supports you at home. But the risk of starting the business, which is probably what is scaring you right now, is so small. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about in part, because when you think about an online business, your investment, you don't have a storefront, you don't have employees, you don't have a huge risk. You don't have to go out and buy huge pieces of equipment. You need very little to start an Amazon and an eBay business. With Amazon, you can list as many items as you want and you don't have to pay until they're actually sold. So there's very little risk in that. eBay, it's only around 30 cents an item to list. So again, we're not talking huge dollars that you have to you know, fret in the middle of the night that you're going to lose because the startup risk is very small. So that helps alleviate some of the, the pressure of feeling like, oh no, you know, I'm, I'm investing a lot of money and I might lose it because you're not really going to invest that much. We will talk about office equipment today, but it's very minimal. A lot of it you probably already have at home or you can buy pretty cheaply. So really for just you know, a couple hundred dollars, that's all you're gonna have invested at first. It takes very little um, money because you can start from buying, from getting things out of your closets and your garages and just deep cleaning your house. Then you might have friends or relatives that have a bunch of stuff they wanna get rid of. 
If even if you do go and purchase inventory, you can start at garage sales or Goodwill stores, thrift stores, where you're purchasing items for dollars. And you can buy a hundred items for a hundred dollars and you can try it that way. So still your money risk is still very, very low. Another thing that's really great and helps alleviate some of the fear is you can do this, you can start this while doing something else. So maybe you're working full time right now, but you would like to be, you know, stay at home mom, or you're working full time, but you really want to, you know, travel a lot. Whatever your reasons are, you can be building this on the side while doing something else. And it also complements really well if you have another source of income that's online. Like I also stock trade, you know, maybe you're a virtual assistant, maybe you blog, I don't know, but it, this can supplement whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can start dedicating, you know, four hours a day, two hours a day to building this business. Obviously, the more time you spend, the faster your business is going to grow. But I'm just saying that it doesn't have to be so scary. It's not like you have to stop whatever you're doing and take the plunge. You can still do whatever you're doing and start to build your business and learn about it and let it grow first. And the other thing that will probably make you feel better is that this truly is a viable business. I'm not saying this because I need you know to trick you <laughs> i'm not affiliated with ebay or amazon i don't make any money from any of this so you know there, there's no reason for me to tell to lie to you about that um i made thousands in the summer obviously i can't live off of a few thousand so i've had to to grow up from a few thousand to twenty thousand you know now my goal is four thousand a month and that's kind of you know what I'm trying to be consistent with every month right now. And eventually my goal is 8,000 a month. So it truly is a viable business, but you have to treat it like a business and you have to put the time and effort in. A lot of people that I talk to, you know, they've eBayed and they haven't been successful. When I get into the conversations with them, I find that it's because it's something that they're doing for an hour on a Saturday. And if you're going to do this for an hour on a Saturday, you're going to have those types of results. You're not going to make, you know, the type of money that you want to make. So you have to look at this like a true business startup. You have to look at it that it's a business startup with very little risk, very little money and overhead. And it is, it is something that can support you. You just have to put the time and the effort in. So, I'd like to end that with telling you, please, please, please give it one year. Do not quit for a year. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to feel like a failure on some days. You're going to be successful on other days and feel really confident, but you need to give it a full 12 months. It needs to be more like, okay, self, I'm going to dedicate one year to growing this business and see if it's going to be something that works for myself and my family or it's not. And the mistakes that you make along the way, which you will make, you need to look at those as business expenses. How much would it cost you to take a class to learn, you know, about growing a business or starting a business? How much would it cost you to have a college degree? Lots and lots and lots. You're going to make little mistakes throughout the year. I don't think you're going to make any huge mistakes because we don't have a lot of financial risk or startup risk with this type of business but you are going to you know buy something that you can't sell and you're stuck with it you are going to um you know just make a stupid mistake and you just need to look at that as the cost of building a business everyone that starts off makes mistakes when you learn baseball you have a lot of strikes when you learn to ride a bike you fall down a lot so this business is going to be no different you're going to make mistakes and i've made mistakes Perfect example is this YouTube channel. I started this YouTube channel not that long ago and I make mistakes all the time. Yesterday's video was awful. I looked at it today, the sound quality was bad, the picture was bad. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm gonna lose the subscribers that I have. It was, it was a mistake. So what do I do? Just go, okay, I'm just gonna close down my YouTube channel. No, I have to learn from that. 
So today I was on Amazon looking for external microphones and looking for external computer cameras so I can have them on my desk. You can hear me you know, louder and clearer. The picture is clear, has better megapixels. Those are the types of things that I'm learning about because when I started YouTube, I knew what it was. I had watched videos. I had never made one. I didn't know how to speak in front of a camera. I had to figure out how to, you know, get it from my phone into the computer and edit it on my computer and upload it. And it was this huge learning curve for me and I'm still learning, but hopefully every video that I make for you will improve and it will get better. What I have to say will be better. The quality will be better and it will be a process. And hopefully, you know, my YouTube channel will be very successful one day. But right now I'm in that process and you need to understand that you're in the process of starting your eBay and Amazon. So let's just get to it and take a tour of my office. Okay, so here we are. We're going into my office space. It's not the largest room in the world, but it suits my needs. This actually used to be a Lego room for the kids and I took it over and converted it. So any playrooms or our space that you have in your garage, maybe a corner in your bedroom, anything like that can be used. So I try to make it pretty. I have pretty colors in here. I have my mannequin for my clothes. The mannequin was really cheap. It was only 30 something dollars on eBay that I think I got at Target. These bookshelves I already had and all the decorations. I want you to look at that blue file right there. That holds all my receipts. You can see it is in dire need of some organization right now, but it is divided by months. It's just kind of popping out there. I took, I took things that I already had in the house. So I didn't have a huge expense. This just holds all my materials like tape, ink, refills, scissors. I have extra cassettes for the printer and paper. All my packing materials are here. A lot of this is free from the post office. All your um, priority mail stuff is free. You can go to UPS and get free boxes. These bags, different sizes of bags and manila envelopes I purchased either at Walmart or on eBay and bags and bubble wrap. More paper down there, brown paper rolls. I find Walmart to be the least expensive and trust me, I've shopped everywhere. Amazon also has some good deals. This is where all my box storage is. UPS and Priority Mail. So when I walk in my door, that's what I see, that big mess of stuff. That's what I'm currently listing. Looks a lot prettier when it's not in here, but it's summertime and I'm doing curriculum, so that's what it looks like right now. So that's this whole side, left side of my office. Now, when you walk in the door and you turn, this is my personal board. And this is where I put inspirational quotes. I put my schedule for the day and YouTube ideas my goals, which that was on another YouTube video, just anything. This is for my website that I'm trying to create. Entrepreneur Girl, there's our logo. So just, you know, more personal stuff, photos, things that inspire me. And then I have my dry erase board, which is talking about what we're gonna be talking about today. Start slow with an understanding, build it up, giving you examples how to set up your office and set up your equipment. This dry erase board was purchased so I can just um, kind of write down my ideas or for my YouTube videos. The calendar, I love the big calendar. It's been very helpful. I write out what I list every day to keep myself accountable, any dates of like holidays that I need to shop for, that type of thing. If I, what days I'm gonna go thrift store shopping, garage sale shopping. Normally it, it looks a mess, but it's a little light this month. This is the books. I did a book video. I'm always reading books and putting them right there so I can blog about them or 
you know, read about it. Then you need measuring tapes. These are really inexpensive. A few dollars, you know, at a Target or a Walmart. I have four of them. I don't know why I have so many of them. <laughs> I got these little hooks and I just hunt them on the wall. Pretty easy, everything at Target. You've seen this board before. This is my idea board. This is how I make money online so that I can stay at home with my kids. And you have to start with Amazon and eBay and then we'll get into the other things once we become successful with those. Those are the names of my eBay stores. I have my trash can and these post office bins were given to me by the post office. So I can put my packaged items and then just carry the whole thing because I ship so much now. So they just gave that to me. I set up my little lighting studio, which you've seen a video on that. I want to tell you, I did not start off this way. I started off with two lamps from Walmart that cost me $20. It's a, it's a process. But had I known that that, light, that whole light setup was 30 something dollars and the mannequin was 30 something dollars, I would have bought them a long time ago. These are minimal fees. I could turn around and sell that used on eBay if my business didn't work out and get most of my money back. This is my desk. My chair, it's very comfy. So I have lots of equipment, so I need a little power strip. And here are the printers. This Canon printer is what I started with. That's just a laser. That's what I eBayed with. I still use it, but this is what I've upgraded to. So save yourself some money and start with this because Amazon is very picky about what types of printers they want you to use. This one's inexpensive. It cost me $99 and I had a coupon, so I got it for less than that. I bought this second monitor at a garage sale for $5, I think. And this works really well because when I'm on my computer listing, I can be watching YouTube videos or Netflix videos, and I can kind of learn while I'm listing. And I can also, you know, entertain myself. It's really fun to be watching a Netflix movie and listing. I don't mind it at all. It's not even like work. Like who gets paid for this stuff? So I highly suggest having two monitors. You can watch the news. If you're stock trading, it's just always a good thing because it gives you that double screen. You have to have a computer, obviously, to do online listing work and you have to have a smartphone or I would encourage you to anyway. I'm holding it so I can't show you mine but I have an iPhone and I love it because you can have apps that you will use to price out your inventory but we'll get to that. Right now we're not being overwhelmed. We're talking about how easy it is to start up, what low risk it is and I'm showing you my office. And that's just miscellaneous supplies, markers, scissors. This is great. It's furniture wrap, but I use it to wrap things for Amazon. Tape. This is a lint roller to roll my photo area. Headphones. Stamps. Candle. All right. So that's the office. Another piece of equipment that I use is a scale. This is the type that I have chosen because it weighs, you know, up to a couple hundred pounds. So I can put big, or I think it's a hundred pounds maybe. I put big boxes on this or I can put as small as, you know, an envelope on it. And when you have a big box, you can hit hold and it'll hold the value for you so that you can actually see the weight after you move the box instead of trying to look around the box. You can also mode it so it's in you know ounces and kilograms. So this is the type of scale that I use. You'll need to get some scale. This was really inexpensive. I got it from Amazon and I think it also was $30. It seems like everything I buy is around $30. So again, not very much money at all. 
the place I want to show you is my garage. You can tell it's my garage. <laughs> this is where I house my inventory. And I chose, which I showed you in other videos, to use banker boxes that I put um, a piece of paper on. They're color-coded, blue, orange, yellow, pink. And I use these symbols on my eBay, eBay inventory somewhere in the listing so I can just at a glance know which box it's in and grab my inventory. So I have one, two, three, four rows of this. And then if you look past the rows, you're gonna see a mountain of boxes. That's embarrassingly messy. It should be on that shelf right there. But as you saw, I was on vacation. So this is my garage and it's inventory. And then I go into the guest area and that's where my office is. And that's what I showed you earlier. So that's my setup. Okay, so here's a little recap of what we talked about. Number one, start slow, build it up over time. I gave you examples of how I did that. And to understand that this is a very low risk startup and the money that you're going to inv invest is very small. So just calm down, <laughs> you can build it up while working on something else, or you could just jump right in and do it eight hours a day. Obviously, the more you do, the faster it'll build up. It is a viable business. You can work from home and do this, and you need to stick with it for a year. Whatever mistakes you make this year just count as a business expense or a business class. The second thing you need to do is set up your office. And I showed you my office and showed you the equipment that I have. You don't have to have the equipment I have, but it's just what I ended up using. And number three is to get your equipment and set it up. Here is a list of the equipment that you have to have. Basically, you have to have a scale. I showed you mine. That scale was about $30. You have to have a computer, which you probably already own. You have to have a smartphone, which you probably already own, and you have to have a thermal or laser printer. I have the Wireless Brother 2270DW. It cost me $99. Get wireless, whatever you do. Don't mess with the cords. They're too cheap for that. So right now, what, we have $130. Get the free eBay and Amazon apps and put them on your smartphone. And Avery, it doesn't have to be Avery, but I started with Avery, 30 per, per page count labels. And those labels, I think were just a few dollars at Walmart. Here, I'll show you what the labels look like. Here they are. These are actually not Avery. These I got from Amazon. So you can see amazon.com because I found them in bulk cheaper than I could get them at Walmart. Those are all little things that you learn. But even if you start off at Walmart, it's not that big of a deal. You know, this is what, $7 investment, $5. So right now we have a printer at 100, a scale at 30, and labels will say 10 at the most. So we're in for $140. You have to have the internet, which you probably already have. And you have to have a place to store your inventory. It doesn't have to be a whole garage like I have. It can be a shelf. You don't have to have a huge room you know, to eBay and Amazon in. It could be a corner of your bedroom. All you need is some place to start your business, grab a shelf that you already own, and spend $140 on must-have equipment. That's it. See, that's all you have to have. And that's so low money. Once you get a feel for it, you might include other things. But you don't have to have photo lights right now. You don't have to have a mannequin. You don't have to have those fancy apps that have monthly fees or a second monitor or some huge inventory space. That's all you need right now. Okay guys, so that's your job. You have your work cut out for you. You're gonna focus on your office space 
and you're going to focus on setting up that equipment. So don't forget to subscribe so you can get the rest of the video series and we can do the rest of the steps. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.